Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So this is the last video So we already complete how to compute a table average daily balance So now we can uh, start for uh, calculate the request by the question Okay So before we calculate the question I would like you to see in this info uh, In this slide See uh, Where I can get the amount alright so is a uh, average daily value you should be record here and then the first 31st transaction I will get from the this paragraph so I hope this you can see how that how systematic you need to be alright so every paragraph I have mentioned because when you have two transactions you need to uh, record it in the same day okay so you need to be careful in the period of day because you see, start a cycle date to a date before the first transaction. Okay, what did you mean? March 16, record a before a first transaction date. First transaction date, 820 is a uh, 17. So, that's why you need to record March to March 16 to March 16. Okay, so this one you just calculate by your hand, alright? So, 17. You need to calculate 17, 19, uh, 17, 18 and 19, alright? So, it seems goes here. You see that 11 is not 15 minus 11, alright? It's a 15, 11, 4, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, it's a 5 days. You total up this one, you get 30 fast way, okay? Uh, it said that total must be equal with the start month, March, okay? Because it's March, it's a 31st, 31st, 31 days, okay? Sorry, 31 days. Is this question start with April? So, it should be 30 days, okay? So, the last one, okay, is not highlighted in the previous video. This is our ending balance. So, this is the start balance. So, this is the outstanding ending balance on 15 April, okay. So, this is total amount. So, you can see that uh, from 16, we have an 850, the beginning balance. So, 31 days and you will get 15 for... Uh, April, okay, 15 April 2019 is 9820 the ending balance. So I see because this is transition one month, so you need to have a uh, 1.5 percent because previous uh, question you can see, okay, see it's 18 percent per annum and then. You can see that I divided by 12, this is 1.5%, okay? So, I hope that you understand how this, because you can refer it back to this uh, one, the refer to the slide that I will give it to you, uh, okay? So, now we start. Okay, step 3 is calculate. Okay, I want you to see that 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, this step is very interrelated. You need to calculate this one first. Okay. You need to calculate this one first. Then you can get average daily balance in the step one. Okay. In the step one, total aggregate balance. Where you get a total aggregate balance is 3730. Okay. 3770. Number of days. So this is number of days. Where did you get number of days? Okay. Here. So you got 31 days. Okay, average for this is should be right in ringgit. Okay, it's RM. Okay, so it'll be 9,797 cents. Okay, so you already get average daily balance. Alright, now we go for interest charge. Okay, average daily balance. The formula is average daily balance. This one, the amount here. Multiply by month interest rate. Okay, eighteen percent divided by twelve month, you get one point five percent. All right. So this one multiply with one point zero point zero one percent. Okay, this all right. This one one point five percent. So you will get the interest charge by the bank or the main bank. Uh, so visa is 145.51 okay so this is the charge okay and and then 
you need to calculate the total outstanding balance is ending balance. Where is the ending balance? The red one, this one, okay? This one, the ending balance, the red one, okay? So, 9820 plus interest charge. See, I will say that from start until from start towards the beginning, uh, towards the ending is very important. You have to write answer. When you wrong here, mostly here, so you will get a wrong answer. So it's easily you to lose 10 marks. Okay. So 9820 plus 145.51. So you will get 9965.51. All right. And then the minimum payment is outstanding balance. What is an outstanding balance? So this one. 9985 the previous in a step okay so you will get this one 996551 okay so you multiply with 0 0.05 where did you get a 0, 005 so from the question is 5% see 5% okay so 5% is in a minimum payment so let's say that what is mean a minimum payment in credit card? Meaning that you already spent 9965.51, okay, 50 cent, 51 cent. So you need to have a pay minimum in order you to not have a late penalty, okay. They don't have a need charge of penalty by the bank. So the customer should, or uh, Adam should pay 498.28 okay let's say adam paid so after adam paid the outstanding balance uh the minimum payment so outstanding balance okay minus the minimum payment here this one minus this one so the calculation is like this okay 9965.51 minus 489.98 0.28 so after Adam paid so the outstanding balance is 9949679.24 okay all right so actually the outstanding balance here is a 9467.24 Point two three, okay. The outstanding, outstanding balance, okay. So the outstanding balance is nine four eight zero, okay. So if let's say that we are due for the next cycle, so this is sixteen four. This is a uh, six fifteen May. So it should be beginning balance and we calculate again. So we do not know the outstanding balance after we uh, after we are calculate the date. So this one should be <coughs> 30 days. Alright. So it's the same amount. So this is example let's say that you need to calculate for the next transaction. So I will see you what is the next okay because people will bring the outstanding beginning balance okay so i hope that you can answer all this so this is the formula so you need to know the formula how to calculate it's very important to understand this okay thank you for listening and watching